Hey guys, it's Rook. Thanks for checking out Speed Duel Showdown number three, our biggest showdown to date with 32 entrants and over $180 in prize money. Shout out to a lamb lion, a Speed Duel League. He guest hosted this one. You'll be hearing him today on the commentary. Enjoy. Zade hefted. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Thank guy you on the bottom, all I see he's, bros. Hmm. he's really been uh, grinding. He's always in door quests, so. though. Oh, have to? Off for him. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> Are these sleeves high ranking sleeves? You would know. Maybe. Are these default sleeves or uh, high ranking sleeves? I think they're high rank. Yeah, they seem. <laughs> yeah, usually don't yeah. get lollies and waifus uh, as defaults. You gotta grind for those. Yep. Uh, have to display Dark Moth. Oh, no, I didn't even know that. All right, we'll see. What has won? Let's see. So I see Monarchs. Oh no, that's right, I forgot. Man, I always rag on Icy Monarchs for not winning anything. Every really one box, do. but they did win in Showdown. I forgot Tetra won with Showdown with Mon That doesn't count. That was like 12 people seeing Lil Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Anything Tetra wins doesn't really count. Yeah, I mean, if Tetra wins it too, probably not the like most competitive you know, group of players. So okay, Even so, though so you and Marco is. and Ursus all signed up, we'll just ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just ignore that everybody Z was Z Zeta set up really well, and he's... He's making the right play by not spending Y. Yep. Smart, smart. He's just passing the turn over to Hefted. Won't get paranoided. Hefted has Ursa right here, double moth. He's definitely going for it. Yep, he can. Zayd has shown no Sphere Kribos. You know, Sphere Kribo is uh, yeah. quite nice in XIZ. So you say this is where Gilosaurus, man. Oh, but oh, Hefted has his X in the grave, though. <laughs> you could have killed, but he, that would force out the X, and then you paranoid the X. So there you go. True. Easy. Another. Wait, what just happened? Oh, he popped up a breaker. Okay. Yep, here it comes. Paranoid. No way. No double way he has you were praising him for the right play. It literally costed him the game. Yep. Oh, he would have lost anyway. Yeah. yeah. Rip. I don't That's know how many back row, yeah. I guess that just means he doesn't have any back row. Because I think if he has, like, scramble... Yeah, if he, if he had back row, he definitely would have set yeah. them, but I, he must have wide. Yeah, if he just, monsters. yeah, if he opened all monsters, then yeah, I do think it was correct. And just hope they don't have double moth. Hold up. No way. Hold no, okay, okay. He's, he's teasing us, he's teasing us. He's not playing the conjic list. What a tease. Heft it up 1-0, moth out to an early lead. Disgusting. <laughs> he didn't even have to lure anything. <laughs> yeah, literally just like had moth. breaker paranoid moth. Uh, neither okay. one of them fucking around, Zaid. I think I'm gonna open up my hangar. Have to. I think I'm gonna open up Moth Paranoid Breaker. These guys aren't fucking around, man. That's how you get to the finals. Everybody's you fucking around. You know who won RPS? That's kind of interesting. What is R? What? Uh, rock paper scissors. Do you know who oh, won? Oh, um, I want to say. If Zaid chose to go first, that'd be that'd be an interesting choice. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know who won it. Okay. Honestly, I feel like maybe have to if he chose to go second, because I think Zaid chooses to go second. So if he didn't, I'm pretty sure last time he chose to go second. So if Zade won it, he would have went second. So whoever went second won it. Hefted won it. But Hefted will have to go first now. So you play Moth a lot. What do you do here? Usually it's fast, right? Yeah, I usually just Dekoichi, baby. Sad fucking. No, I'm just kidding. It's terrible in this matchup. Uh, if you have a Lauren Sphere, you still just pass, right? Yeah. There's yeah. no reason to pick for yeah, They can't OTK. You oh, can. Wow. Yeah, I guess you can normal summon a breaker. Um, I don't agree with this at all. You can just pass, but it depends on what he said. Like, if for some reason he sided in, like, Lost Winds or, like, a Cyclone, might as well set that, I guess. That's true. If he's got Breaker and then the Cyclone, so I don't think it's bad. Summoning the Breaker is questionable, but I think if that back, depending on what that back row is, I think it's correct to set it. Like, might as well. Kind of taunting Zade because if he tries to go over the Breaker, he's just going to get Parasited. So. Yep. So here's, he chose first. Oh, okay, so yeah, Zade, or er, what is it, bro? He won, he didn't choose, he didn't choose first. Are you guys arguing who over who won Rock, Paper, Scissors? Wait, Moth went first and just passed? Oh, okay. I s did he? I thought oh, yeah, Zade only I had think, four cards. Yeah, because I, I guess he foolished. Yeah. He had three cards in his hand, plus top. Hanger. Hanger added one, and then he yeah, I think, yeah, maybe Moth did go first and just pass. So hopefully Zade has two back rows here, or else it's a really risky play. Yeah. 
Um, but if he does have two back rows, you do just kind of have to go for it. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. There's no waiting. Have to so it wasn't Cyclone that he said. This is the one thing I hate though is like, because normally you would just pass her and not do anything as Moth, and you take this 2100 would come in your face, and then you'd have uh, right, come in your matter. face. Yeah. I gave you come that one. Yeah, I literally said yeah. come in your face, and you just yeah whatever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I didn't know yeah. if you want to chat to know that about you. <laughs> yeah, you take the 21, and it's just, oh no, you have 19. It's very interesting. Left. There's no lost winner cycle, and that's a crazy breaker. Yeah. Didn't have anything, but yeah, he, he would take 21 here if he didn't do anything, and then Zadon has Honestly, I think, he has double, I think he has double Parasite, because that breaker was really taunting the guy to summon a fusion monster. Yeah, it's like summon something face up. I he doesn't have double uh, parasite. Uh, sometimes people are just like, me, I have normal monster. What? He had Cyclone! Yeah, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> dude, it's all out the window, man. The playbook <laughs> is me, out the fucking the window, dude. Yeah, it's just Cyclone, minus 1,000 life. Pops. That was game over. I mean, if you Cyclone the unit yeah. here. I don't know, maybe maybe he's pop. got a uh, Night Beam, Paranoid. I guess, what is it? Why is he down? Okay, so yeah, I guess he'd have Night Beam. Paranoid, and then he's gonna rip a moth off the top here. Or breaker or parasite, so that gives him what? One, two, five. Uh, what does he want? So there's two. another breaker. Man, do you know how nice it would be if he cycloned that union hanger and a double breaker? It's probably gonna be a combination or whatever that trap card's called, scramble. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't think you banish without. So he's right. gonna pop. Let's see if it's chained. Mm. Third place match should be going on right now, by the way. So we'll see who wins. We'll update you guys on who finished third. Set or the hanger? <laughs> <laughs> it's set. Yeah, it's the scramble. Okay, so it gets another Z here. Gosh, that scramble shouldn't even have been allowed. I can't believe it didn't cycle in the hanger. I feel like that's just... I don't know. Maybe he had a second hanger and he was just afraid of it. I don't know. Oh, is he not searching for hanger? Uh, oh, he has a Z in his hand. Yeah, I don't. I know uh -huh. usually Ursa sides out his third Z when he, mm. he he plays Moth. So okay, if this is a Moth in the hand, it's game over. Is it? Yep. If you have yes. a fusion and two two defense. It's it's still game. Uh, through double Moth. Wait, so if he I gets rid so. of the YZ... Wow, he didn't even get... Okay, so this would... Now, I yeah, think it would so, be game. So Moth goes through yeah, now for 14. Yeah. yeah, that's game. Yeah. Oh, wow. No second Doesn't Moth? have it. Nope. Bad Moth player. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so just, now... Yeah. yeah, now I feel like this swings way in Zade's favor. But it just happens. Like, Moth can't open God, like, every single time, you know? There's a good chance Zade has... No more back rows in his hand because he had an, an open. He's got to have an X. Zone. He probably has a Z. And. I feel like he has yeah. an X. There's a decent chance it's a Y or an X. Because he has three X's. So, three my X's bet's on X. How many foolish? Uh, I don't know if we've seen I'd enough. I assume one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At least the one, unless he saw oh, you, oh, you saw three X's. Tim. Yeah, yeah, I've play. seen three X's, X's. Yeah. We saw okay. three X's last, last match. I'm a fan of that. So, hmm. What does he want to do here? If he has XYZ, this face down could be a lost one. Or a Cyclone, and the card in hand could be a Parasite. Yep. Man, did you see uh, Pasm apparently is talking about how Matt said that you can respond to the summon of the Purple Boy off Union Combination? So yeah, yeah, like they, my, ago, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tensei was talking. Apparently, Pasm said that in the extra. I need to like, dude, I need to like talk to Matt. Just like message him, like, please, 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 tell me, tell me, like, are you supposed to respond? Because that is so ridiculous. It's worded exactly like Fusion Party. Why would you be allowed to respond? It's worded exactly <laughs> like ruling? Fusion Party. I don't know because Konami won't give us any ruling. So whatever Matt says at this point, I'll I'll go with because Konami That's just true. doesn't. Hey, Zade, summon in defense mode. There's a good chance it's not lost when face down because Moth doesn't really side. Yeah, it's, it's awkward. That does. Yeah, I don't even yeah. do it anymore. I do Alley of Justice. Because you you just had one right at yeah. the time. Yep, I ran. Uh, yeah, I put in two, usually. Yeah, Alley of Justice is crazy because it's a dark monster too. So. Yeah. Because like yeah, the way that you beat the Lost Wind is by book, and book beats Core Destroyer as well. Like Core Destroyer is like higher ceiling, but it can also get offerings. So technically, there's more outs to the Core Destroyer than the Lost Wind, but. 
But they're wasting the outs on Core Destroyer. So yeah, yeah. A win win. I mean, it's literally like, it's also beautiful top deck. Like, if yeah, first I want you're yeah. you just like yeah, top deck yeah, ally crazy. and it's like, game. So. <laughs> So if you have one of like the best in Peru, you might lot, be the only in Peru. Uh, <laughs> aggressive with your moth. Oh no, Santa, but it's a free. Yeah, Renzo, you're probably the only uh, XYZ player in Peru. So that makes Renzo, you the oh, best, you, but also the worst. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah, time is it in Peru? Yeah, what time is it in Peru? Did we get to say saying we want a database for speed duels? So soon we will uh did we get a why do I keep right clicking? Did we get a um survey asking for a database? That would be nice. That'd be useful. Helpful. So, so Zade can make an XZ here to pop a back row. 12, 21, so it's 9 o'clock? Yeah, Peru, yeah, Peru, Latin America, they should all be similar time zones. Yeah, so you're in uh, my time zone, Renzo. It's not too late for you. Um, is he just going to go for game here? Uh, He can. What it, well, if it looks fine he, to me. Yeah, he can, he can just he normal can scramble for X. Yep. What does he have? So he has X, Z. Well, he, he would scramble for Y, yeah. I think. Yeah, and he can get the Yin Yanger. If he has two or three Zs, which would be weird having three Xs, but not three Zs. But maybe he sides them Kind out. of, because, yeah, because Z is more accessible and X yeah. is yeah. harder to get. The like third Z will pretty much luck. has a really high chance of going up. But... Right, so he definitely has Z in his hand because he didn't get Y. Yep. And he's just going to switch Santa and this is good. There should be nothing in Moth that stops this. Zoma. True. <laughs> What? Yeah, these just dead. Uh, I see Justice playing Zelma, so maybe it's popular now. Yeah, I don't know what Hefted would have here. He's not surrendering. Maybe he's lagged out. Maybe he's just trying to stall. You know, sometimes it works. Yeah, right, yeah. Right? It won with you. Your opponent uh, had to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> that was so lucky. So he takes the twelve. Yep, that's game. Does he Zelma? Widespread wow. ruin, dude. What the hell? Side deck tech. <laughs> Absolutely. There's the Zoma to get over the Santa Claus. It ain't over yet. No way. There's What's no going way. on? He's got XZ, which can't pop a Zoma. He needs a Y. Wow. <laughs> he has so many dead Z, cards, though. So. Hefted has to deal with three dead paranoids and a dead moth in his deck. So he might have just drawn one of the dead cards. No, it's alive. Wow. Interesting. Now. Uh, oh my. Yeah, it's over. And it is a scramble rip. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the scramble gets banished yeah, though. No. How crazy to open two sets against Moth and then double scramble as well. Yeah, jeez. Santa, get him with his own Santa. Yeah, it's probably going game three. Oh, as I, I said. I thought that was game three. Cool. No, this is going to be one more game. This is for all the marbles and specifically, uh, what's the split? 60? Hang on. 180 times. Do you definitely 60. go second with Moth here, right? Uh, yeah, every time. I can't think of it. Okay. I mean, unless he wants to, like, I got the Cyclone, man. <laughs> yeah, <'cause, laughs> yeah. I'm going to open the Cyclone, baby. You'll see. That's, I I've, did, I've done it. Could, I've, uh, I've done it in the extra. It's important to have a tempo uh, to flip up Zoma going first, but yeah. I've, uh, I don't really uh, understand either of their decks. So I've well. taken first in the extra, and I, I cycloned a hanger, and I was like, get fucked. It was the dumbest, but yeah, it's not. I probably <laughs> shouldn't do it. So they're playing for 108 versus, I guess it'd just be 54, yeah. So, 80 bucks. So it's 54, a 54. A, or sorry, wait, hang on. That's a big difference. Yeah, that is, yeah, yeah like a $64 difference. It's a win-a-box. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, yeah, if you win the win-a-box, you get 50, so it's a win-a-box. They're playing for and they're playing for the win-a-box finals right here. Winner gets 50 bucks. $54 to be exact. What are they going to do? So, okay, so, who took first? Zade took first. Or sorry, have to gave Zade first. Yeah, he was forced to yeah. go first. Mhm. Mm Zade thinking. Probably didn't open a lot of back rows since it's taking so long to think. Yeah, I feel like if he had hanger, he just maybe plays it right off the bat. It's a little, it's a little bit of a uh, decision here because if he sets a monster, he loses the Santa. Yeah. If he doesn't set a monster, he loses a double moth. So what do you really do here? Yeah, I feel like it's like, let's see, how many cards would you need to double moth? You need paranoid plus moth. I mean, I wouldn't be playing around Santa game three, but he saw it game two, so he has to play around it now. Yeah. 
I, I think the way to be moth is like there's no guaranteed way. You just make them have. Oh, wow. You you make them like require more cards, where it's like right. in order to win with the Santa, they would need Santa monster plus moth plus paranoid. So they would need that would need you to need be as exact calculated cards. aggression too because you can't just sit there. Yeah. So we'll see what he wants to do here. Breakers That's a good one. And take. I feel like maybe this was bad because. I don't think Hefted runs back row. Or how many? I don't think we've seen him Night Beam. We've only seen him Cosmic. So, ooh, it immediately gets offerings. That is not good for his 8th play. Yeah. I feel like this is risky if Hefted had, like, a more standard Dark Moth. Because he would... Zade just got rid of all three of his back row, basically. Like, if this was normal Dark Moth, like, Night Beam, Cyclone, Summon Breaker, all three back rows are gone. Ooh! Hmm. Oh, no. Not sure if I like this because there's a good chance Zade has another offering down. He's got to get through right, it sooner or later, though. Wait, he chains. Okay, 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 okay. So he does both offerings on the same breaker. Uh. So paranoid will go better to, the to wait. It's probably better to wait for the moth, right? An offering some moth. Probably, yeah, just to get rid of it. I guess he can put <laughs> it back, but this he can way already put back parasite here. Man, Zade is gonna have two cards. To, to Hefted's yeah, four. Misplay. He's going to have five. Oh, man. So that was it's a misplay be, on Hefted's part yeah. by giving him the value of double offerings in the same turn. And then it was a misplay on Zade's part by not using offerings on Moth. Yeah. So I guess we even it out here. Yeah. Oh, no. Hefted's going to have five to two next because yeah, Zade can't draw next turn. If he has another breaker turn. next turn, it's going to be pretty yeah. insane. Holy. And I don't know if Zade has Union Hanger. I feel like that last card is... Probably another back row that he couldn't set, or a monster he didn't want to summon, but he can't draw. I have no read on that back row at all. Yeah, there's no telling what it could be. Maybe a dead scramble, to be honest. Because if he had two offerings, he should have just set two offerings. Yeah. But we'll see. Whew. Zade in a pit. I feel like just opening uh, double offerings, because offerings is not that good of a card in general. Just opening both of them is kind of unlucky to begin with. It's not. And a that's what card. you're going for when you're playing offerings. You want to draw two, and it's still not great. Yeah. Just, oh. I, th I think it's one of those cards in Speed Duels where it's like masked as a good great card because it's so versatile, but it's really just not. Yeah. Yep, it's just not. It's a good trap though because it uh it really does solve a lot of problems that you can't otherwise solve with mm -hmm. different card choices. But Same thinking he's just gonna pass his turn, which I think is fine. What are the odds that Hefted has? We know that he has a moth in hand. Yep. Unless he literally just did like the bluff of the century. Wow. I'm just Didn't like, yeah, it doesn't hand, a... So he opened double breaker against three oh back. Oh my right. gosh. So breaker can pop. I have to assume this is a dead card, like dead scramble. There's a good nope, chance he has another parasite since he did that parasite thing last turn. Yep. Oh so no. Because he didn't wait for the moth to come out yeah. and bring that. I guess he could put back the moth, but he'd have to draw it at least. Because he, if, I think if he does that, he'd put back the moth instead of the paranoid. With his yeah, skill. and then if he didn't have another Paranoid last turn, then he'd have a lower chance of drawing into it again. Yeah. Because he put back Moth. Oof, Sphere oh. Karibo. Aw, GG. Hefted. Dark Moth wins three. showdown number three. Congrats to both, but they're both walking away with a good amount Red of money. Magician against XYZ, okay. Very interesting finals. Hefted wins it. If you wanted your deck list, take a screenshot. Here we go. Hefted's going through it right now. We're not posting these lists. If you want the deck list, is there, there only you one go. apprentice and one old vindictive? Can you look at that graveyard? Oh yeah, let's see. He did have Ally of Justice. <laughs> one apprentice, one old vindictive. Did get out of here. <laughs> uh, no, no allure. One widespread, one creature, one apprentice, one old vindictive, one creature swap. The dark technology. No allure. <laughs> yeah, no allures. No uh, double cyclone, one night beam. So, wow. he did, so he did have three back row cards. I like four, but and, uh, that's a good the example. With dark Google's technology. Is. Absolutely. Well, GG Zade, because uh, I know the Hefted. I've seen Hefted. I've never seen Zade, so he did really well for the first time I've seen oh, him yeah. unless he's on like an alt account or something. Uh, Let's see if uh, oh. match number three, and it looks like, uh, where's third place? Um, I think they just Check give third place to Hexy, even though. Uh, congrats second, on right? second. Uh, you're done for today. I'll send the money shortly just pm me your paper um forget my account for commentating yeah 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 
Let me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> uh, let's see if third place is going on right now. Uh, we'll I don't see any matches going on. Nope. Let's see if they posted the results in. I want to at least let everybody know, and then stick around because I'm gonna go over um, just some quick announcements. I'll take blah 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 match results. You want to go over like the top eight deck list or anything? Contests. Um, I don't think I have all the deck lists unless there's a oh, way okay. for me to. I don't want to. So it doesn't give it to you. It just tells their opponent if they change. Yeah, I think is how. Okay. That's why I was worried. Was like it doesn't actually let me see their uh, their deck list, which was like uh hmm. All right, let me see if I have to do anything. Do I have to, like, end this in tourney? Yeah, because I don't know where the third place match. It doesn't look like... It looks like it's just trying to give it to Hexy for game matches, but I thought there was some sort of a... Uh, some sort of a... Uh, in there, but there we go. Okay. Yep, Hexy said he won the third place match. Okay, Hexy got it. All right, that might have been what it was then. That's why it's giving it to Hexy. The dueling book thing is pretty cool. How'd you figure it out? Uh, I saw DB Grinder do it once on like his YouTube channel, and I was like, ooh, this looks fancy. I think this it's actually is very really easy nice. to yeah. set up. It's so. much easier than just doing it through challenge. I don't think I like it for something like the Speed Dueling series, but for this, I definitely like. All right, guys, that's it. Goodbye. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, just the one night thing, it's a lot better. Okay, yeah. Your got, instructions uh, were good, so. We've got, um, let's go over some announcements. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? I need to, uh, I think it's this one. No, no, no. First. Okay. So what do we got? Number one. Announcement number one. Uh, I know, for this, no, no, no. We got to do this one first. So okay. let's see. What is today? It is August 30th. Almost the end of August. For Europe, it's August uh, 31st. 31st, but remember that at the end of every single month, I think it's rankings, yeah, the top five players on the Speed Duel ladder get points towards the global leaderboard. Ooh. Selena Gomez, is that you by any chance? You know who that is? Second place? Not <laughs> I, I bad. Think that's the real, I think that's the real <laughs> that's Selena the Gomez. That's the real Selena Gomez, confirm. Holy cow, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Speed Duel leaderboard. Everybody inside the top five gets points at the end of the month towards the dual what am I saying? Sure you don't want to make that top four so Tetra doesn't get me? <laughs> no. The, well, because Tetra would still get it uh, for reasons I can't disclose. Oh, true. Um, true. He, yeah, a lot of people would get it, actually. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, yeah, if you guys finish in the top five, you guys get points towards the Speed Duel League uh, top ten global leaderboard, um, which I do think I have up here. Yeah, the top ten global leaderboard. You guys get points towards this. This is for July's. August is coming out at the end of the month, but... Get inside the top five Nikki on the dual book leaderboard. Uh, Nikki? I don't know. Also, uh, we are changing it up where if you finish in the top five, we are asking for your match history now because there are ways to cheat on the dueling book ladder. So we ask for your match history to make sure that you're not abusing uh, dueling books rules or whatever um, before you get the points. So just know if you finish inside the top five. If you don't show your match history, that's fine, um, but you won't be getting any points. We'll just cross out your name. But top five gets points with a clean match history no points to cheaters yep you've got less i think you don't like cheaters around here you guys have got like 24 <laughs> hours because at the end of every month midnight my time zone so midnight central time in the u.s points are given out to the top five at the end of every month and then i retarded oh, wow Where's i had no idea on? let's go let's go Next, sign up for the Winnebox, baby. Winnebox number 14 happens this Friday. It's August 30th, so September 3rd is this Friday. Winnebox number 14. Join the Speed Dilly Discord to sign up. I'm going to link it. Discord.com. Yeah, I had to, like, memorize this fucking... <laughs> uh, but yeah, well, we linked it in chat. Uh, I'm going to spam Good it tournament. a couple times. Why not? Yeah, definitely join. Winnebox number 14 coming up this Friday. Remember to sign up for that. It is not the same as the showdown. The showdown is weekly, singly limb. This is 72 hour rounds and it's Swiss. Winner gets 50 bucks, free entry. Join the Speed Delete Discord to sign up. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about, we, we, we've got some news on the next set. Speed Duels is not dead. If for some reason you live under a rock and you did not hear that Speed Duels got the GX box, we got the nice GX box, box coming out. It is, honestly, I'm surprised they went with this color scheme. The last one was like all white, but the GX box that is coming. We got some interesting uh, spoilers here. Jaden is coming. Holy cow. We've got Aster. Crazy. And then at the top here, it's super scuffed and like warped. But you can clearly make out Crowler, Jesse. And then this is most likely Axel. Unless it's a really, really crappy looking Hassleberry. 
but yeah, this is pretty I was much guaranteed. Say that middle one kind of looks like a dino guy. Isn't yeah, it, yeah, it could be Hasselberry. I'm like the hair and like the fact that yep. and like the black blazer with brown. like the open chest. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's Axel. Um, and I think he's a slightly darker brown. So don't cancel It'll me. Be interesting, but uh, it's just with, observation. Like, that's hear on malicious and stuff in 20 cards. Yeah. I'm surprised it went with Axel because a couple things on that means that. Um, so some ones that people were expecting to come into the box were Alexis, Cyrus, Zane, uh, Bastion, Hasselberry, Chumley. <laughs> uh, I, I think those <laughs> yeah, are the five. Yeah, I don't see Alexis. I don't see. Yeah, Alexis, Chaz, Bastion. I was hoping for an Alexis. Cyrus, story, you know, Zane, Hasselberry are the six. So we have five characters confirmed: Crowler, uh, Axel, Jesse, Aster and Jaden, which means of these six, only three can join in the box. So three of the characters that I just mentioned are not going to be in the box. Uh, Cyrus, Alexis, Bastion, Hasselberry, Zane, and Chaz. Three of them are not going to be in this box. They might get started X at a later time, but that's just interesting to note. Really interesting to see Axel in the first box, especially because he came in like later in the series. So you would think we would get eight of like the like first oh, season's geez. characters yeah so but we get axel and we get jesse and both of them were like season three characters i'm not looking forward to axel i think speed Duels has too many burn cards and that's just more but plus they get firewall or whatever you might like that with your insect neglect crap <laughs> um, um, good i think roids roids would have been a really cool uh you know type for this game, yeah so. yeah i think it'd be interesting well, tier zero roids but i think the skills are all that matters like i don't i don't really care what good. cards get added i think the skills will determine what's good I don't think, but there are some True. generic skills like inner conflict that any deck can use. So and like TP and stuff. So, I, mean, I think those cards will get banned though. Sooner or later, they're gonna have to ban stuff. You can't be in the GX era with a uh, triple Rota and triple Foolish, unless you just don't want to give us really any power cards. Creep, uh, those skills. Yeah, inner conflict's really like that card needs to go. Um, it'll go sooner or later. You can't have change of heart in the game. Um, yeah, and it's and it's like you. It's a guaranteed open change of heart. It's always available to you every single turn that you want to use it, but you only get to use it once. That's the crazy part about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't even take up a deck <laughs> slot. doesn't like, you don't, it's, you know, like, oh, I didn't see it. No, you just, you start with it. But that's so the GX box. Um, they did delay it a week, so it was going to come out February 18th. We got to wait until February 25th. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same as the Battle City box. We've, all, we've also got Flame Wingman here spoiled, which means there's probably a monster on this side of the box that we can't see. And three more characters on the bottom of the box that we can't see. But... Make sure to pre-order it. Um, unfortunately, the place that I pre-order from, they are all sold out somehow. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's just not up yet or if someone literally showed up it. and spent like 10 grand buying every single one. Like, like 20, $22.50 speed duel boxes. That's crazy. And somebody just showed up and I think bought all of it. Plus, you get uh, store credit too. So it's actually like 22 like 30 or 22.20. But, okay, that makes a lot of sense. They probably only yeah. had 100 pre-sales. Oh, I'm so mad. If this, please tell me that this is just out of stock because I don't have any stock yet to pre-order. Like, if somebody actually showed up and bought out Game Nerds' GX box, because the Battle City boxes are like 50 bucks now, so basically if you wanted to buy these out for a profit, you'd make like a greater than 50% profit, double your money. That's Unless crazy. you sell them through third-party apps and stuff, then you'd only make back like uh, almost double your only. money. But you only. <laughs> oh, I'm so annoyed that they better still have these somewhere. But yeah, so GX box, grab it. Speed Duels is not dead. We got more product. It's just not coming for five months. Konami, we better get TP3 somewhere between now and then. There's no reason we can't have TP3. Uh, it's uh, already made. So. Yeah, it takes like five minutes to make a tournament pack. I swear. I'm just, not yeah, sure. Yeah, we'll pick it would these 18 cards. Relevant cards, but I guess it'd be cool to have something new. Got, um, last, we've got the top 10 global. The, the leaderboard comes out at the end of every month. So this was for July. We're at the end of August. That's coming out at the end of the month. Um, this is for last month. Next month will be out. I just gave you all the places you get points. Showdown grants points, um, but it just ended for this month. Uh, Winnerbox 14 gets points. The Dueling Book Ladder gives points. So, And then, of course, remember to sign up for the next showdown. We do these every single week. Rook will be back next Monday. If you missed him, I tried my best to take his place. Though he is irreplaceable. Uh, yeah, and then that's definitely. everything. And if you guys want to learn more about any of the... If you're brand new to the stream and you have no <laughs> idea what I just said, everything that I just mentioned, you can learn more on by joining the Speed Duel League. Let me pull it up here. Let me join sure I don't have anything bad. Yeah, join the Discord. There are so many channels. We got too many channels. People bitch about how many channels we have. Eat my ass. I don't care. No, I'm 
<laughs> you guys suck. I don't care. Okay, it's it's organized very very nicely. You can say things if you're not gonna go through yeah, them. Yeah, true, true. Don't fucking make promises you can't keep. But all of the information <laughs> that I just gave you is in the Speed Duel Discord and more. If you guys are playing Speed Duels and you're not in the Speed Duel Discord, I have no idea what you're doing with your life. Um, but thanks for coming out, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me, Mike. It's always nice to do commentary yes, with sir. two people. You, know, you were no kind of bland. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll DM you some of the things you need to work yeah, on. No. I, I can't really <laughs> keep up with how much you talk. <laughs> true, true, true. Good. Good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. Um, that's going to do it. And yeah, I think we covered everything. Good tournament. Congratulations yeah. again to Heftev for uh, taking first place. <laughs> And to the other two, I'll get in contact. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in contact with the three of you to get you guys your money. Just kidding. I've scammed you. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the follow. No, I'm just kidding. Good game. But look at all these DMs I missed, dude. Streamer mode's enabled. I can't. I don't get pinged whenever <laughs> people message me. But Oh, really? Crazy. Thank you guys so much yeah. for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys Bye, next time I decide to live stream something. Bye-bye. Have a good night or good morning. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye, chat. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for tuning in.